What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 4 of the tutorial series on custom domain name with API Gateway. So guys, I have received multiple requests for doing the custom domain mapping for API endpoint on updated UI, right? So recently, uh, if you know, then AWS console has been updated and most of the UI has changed, right? So that's where I'm going to cover that how we can map custom domain for specific API endpoint using console, right? So let's get started. So as I mentioned in this tutorial, I will take you through the creation of the custom domain name followed by the base path mapping and invocation, right? So here I will assume that you have already created the ACM certificate for the domain that you want to use. Correct. And if you have not, then please refer to part two of this tutorial series. The link is in the video description. So let's get started. So let's start with the creation of the custom domain. So navigate to API gateway and click on custom domain names from the left panel. And once you are there, click on create. Now here uh, we need to define the domain name with which domain name we want to invoke the uh, given API endpoint, right? So for example, I have this domain that is srcecde.com and I want to call this API endpoint using subdomain that could be api.srcecde.com or it could be anything, right? It could be API endpoint or XYZ or it can be anything. So I will keep it api.srcecde.com and then we have minimum TLS version. So we will go with the recommended one that is TLS 1.2. And then within endpoint configuration, we have two options that is edge optimize and regional. So we will go with regional and within ACM certificate, you need to select the certificate that you have created using uh, ACM service, right? So if you are not still created, then please refer the part two of this tutorial series, right? So I own this domain that is srcecd.com, right? And I have created the ACM certificate for the same. And you also need to do some sort of validation for uh, to verify that uh, you own this domain, right? So that's where ACM certificate uh, will come handy. And then we have tags, add a tags if you want. And once you are done with that, click on create domain name. Now here we have successfully created the domain name. So here we have the endpoint configuration that is API gateway domain name, endpoint type, certificate ARN and hosted ID or hosted zone ID, right? And then we have API mappings and tags. Now, before we move on with the API mappings, we need to add the subdomain within the DNS of srccd.com. So navigate to uh, records, right? For your domain. And here we need to add a record that is CNAME record. So select CNAME and within host, you need to mention the subdomain. So for example, in my case, it's API, right? API.srcecd.com. So that's where I need to mention API in the host. Now, in case if you have selected uh, some other name like xyz.domain.com, then you need to mention XYZ over here, right? So in my case, it's API and within points to fill, you need to go back to the mapping and you need to copy this API gateway domain name. So copy this and go back to domain manager and paste it over here and say save. Now the records are saved successfully. Now we can go back to uh, domain name, right? And now we can go to API mappings. But before we go ahead and configure API mappings, uh, let me show you which API I want to map. So here I have this demo API and I want to map this uh, slash access. I want to call these resources basically right using uh, the custom domain name. So I will quickly show you that uh, this is working absolutely fine. So I will copy this invocation URL. We'll go to postman. I'll paste it over here slash access, right? And I will say send. 
and it returns hello from lambda with status code 200, right? And this is what we want to call or we want to invoke via custom domain name, right? So since uh, we have just added the CNAME record, it will take some time to reflect, right? In the meantime, what we will do is we will go back to domain name, we will go to API mappings and we will say configure API mappings. Now here click on add new mapping. Now select the API that you want to map with this custom domain name. So in my case, I want to map demo API. So I will select that and you also need to select the stage. So that is version one in my case. Now, if you have multiple stages, then uh, all the stages uh, will be listed over here. Then you can select the appropriate stage that you want. But at this point of time in this API, I have only version one. So I will select that. And then we have path that is optional, right? So for example, we have a domain that is api.srcecde.com, right? And now I want to access the resource on the demo API that is access basically. It has the name access. So I can directly uh, press enter and I should be able to access that resource, right? Now, in case if I add the path over here, like invoke, for example, then what I need to do is I need to add invoke after the domain that is api.srcecd.com slash invoke slash access, right? So we will have a look. So that's where uh, you can mention the path if you want. But at this point of time, uh, we will leave it blank, right? And once you're done with the setting, say save. Now here we are done with the uh, base path mapping or the API mappings. Now we are good to go ahead and invoke the api.srccd.com. So let's go to Postman. We'll open a new tab. I'll paste it over here. I will say slash access. So this is basically the resource name. Let me show you again. So I am trying to access this that is slash access with the get method, right? So that's where the domain name is followed by the resource name that is slash access. Now, in case if I want to uh, access slash restrict, then instead of access, I will mention restrict over here, right? Restrict something like this. Okay. But at this point of time, uh, we will invoke this. Now, once you're done with this, say send. Now here it will say could not send a request and it will throw an error, right? So for that, make sure you add HTTPS colon forward slash before the domain name, right? And let's say send. Now, as you can see, we have the response that is hello from Lambda with status code 200, correct? So that's where, and that is how you can access the resources or the API endpoint resources using custom domain name. Now, let me also show you the example with the path. Now let's go back to the API mappings, say configure API mappings. And here in case I mention invoke as a path. And if I save this, now what will happen is it will throw an exception if I invoke this API endpoint or if I invoke this URL. So let's say send. So it says forbidden, right? Because we need to mention the path that we have defined. So it's going to be invoke slash access. Now, if I say send, it will return status code 200 with the response, right? So that's where uh, the path will be useful. Correct. So let's try one more thing. Let's go back to API mappings, say configure API mappings. Now let's say I want to remove this path. Let me save this. So basically this worked fine, right? Since we had single mapping. Now what if I add one more mapping? Will it work? Let's see. So let's try to add one more mapping. Let's select the API. So in my case, it's sample. Here it is and it has a uh, multiple stage, right? So I will select version one. And now if I go ahead and say save, what will happen? So it's going to throw an error saying API mapping key already exists for this domain name. 
right so let me try again again it threw an exception now how we can map multiple uh, api endpoints so for that the path will come handy so let's say uh, i define demo over here and i define sample over here as a path and now if i save this then as you can see uh, it is saved successfully right so now let's go ahead and invoke that so uh, both the api has the same mapping uh, for access now here if i want to invoke the demo api then i will say demo slash access and i will say send then as you can see we have status code 200 right now i will also show you the sample api so here i have the sample api and it will also have the same resource that is slash access now if i want to invoke the sample api then i will simply say sample slash access and i will say send so as you can see it returns status code 200 right so this is how you can map multiple api endpoint with the custom domain right and this is how you can uh, invoke the same so make sure you add http as right if you don't then i will show you the error again if i say send then it will say could not send request right something like this so make sure you add http as right so well uh, guys that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time